What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. We started the work week off. And I scrapped the video I was originally doing today. And um, I'm actually redoing this video for a fourth time because there was a glitch into the last one that I did. And, well, I just didn't want to have that glitch into it. So I'm going to show you guys on the screen this real quick. But if you have not heard of Fast RCR, imagine Beckett Rock Hard Review but it being done by another company, okay? So we're going to go over it. Um, no way am I affiliated with it, and I guess you could say no way am I sponsored as well or anything like that by it. I do know one of the guys that's in it, um, but like I said, it's, it's not like a promotional video or anything like that. I'm just going to bring this out for awareness to everybody offhand. And I'm just curious, you know, are you going to be, uh, are you going to do it? And I'll let you know what my, if I'm going to do it, I guess you could say at the end of it and where I'm at on to it. So basically, Fast RCR is a raw card review, and that's what they're doing. I'm going to pull it up here for everybody to see in uno second. Boom. All right, there we go. So this is a website. It's FastRCR.com. And what they're doing is they're doing the raw card review for people for $15 a card, seven day turnaround. I swore I saw it was $18 and you had to use a code to get the $15, but maybe I'm just wrong by it. I could be off. So these will come in if you're familiar with the Beckett Raw review cases. It looks pretty much similar as that. You're going to have that um, tamper proof label that's real thick over the top of, the, uh, of it so you can't take it out. You're going to get a letter grade, A, B, or C. And pretty easily, I'm going to see if I can blow this up just a tad for everybody without having everything highlighted on the screen. Uh, do one more. All right, here we go. So I know sometimes it, it looks fine to me, and some people say it's a little bit smaller in font, so I want to make sure it's good. So basically, an A was going to be, in, their, in this people that's uh, doing this, they're grading that they think that you'll get a 9.5, there we go, 9.5 or better for a major grading card company. A B means it has minor flaws, so you're likely to get a 9 or possibly better. Um, C means it's not going to grade out, basically. Uh, the easiest way of saying it. As you guys can see, let me see if my pointer will come over. Right there is your A, B, and C onto it. Um, in no way can you send it card in these containers from what I've read to a grading card company for them to take it out or where they consider you know what the letter grade is you got on it uh, towards the grade at the end so if you're familiar with Beckett say Beckett I buy a, a raw card review it's a 9.5 there's a very slim chance it's not going to get that that grade very very slim you don't hear of it much and when it does happen, you know, people usually a refund, stuff like that there because, uh, you know, people are selling a little bit less than, than the graded card because you got to get it graded and all that stuff. But here, you got to take it out, put it back in the holder, and then mail it in. So just so everybody's tracking, if you do go be part of this, you're going to have to crack it out of this and then still mail it in. This here is actually more designed um, because of the backlog at all the grading companies. So... What this is supposed to do, the idea behind it, is that the card is going to be worth more in value by having this done. So, again, it's a raw card review. So, instead of you getting, I'm just going to say LaMelo Ball is selling for, I don't know, $300 raw. This is supposed to be able to get you more money if you got an A on it because somebody should suspect getting a 9.5 or better from it. Does it mean you are? No, it does not. It's just, in their opinion, what they're going to grade it out at. Um, these guys here are all that are doing this are all like big bulk submitters and have been around for a while. Let me scroll down here. Oh, there's a video here if you guys want to see it too, more info. But um, you got 716 Sports uh, Cards and Collectibles. So that's out of New York, five-star cards, Sappy Sports Cards. Most of you guys have probably heard me say Sappy's name in the streams. He's the guy that owns Card Vision and uh, 
Um, he does uh, has his own grading that sends off to Beckett and PSA, and then he just recently acquired uh, DC Sports as breaking part of it all. And then you got uh, Palmetto Cards. During this process, you get to choose who you want to review your card as well, too, which agency. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. You get to choose who you want to go to. Um, with that being said, you know, the whole purpose of this video is just to give you guys an introduction to it and see if you guys are going to be willing to spend $15 a card on to it. Like I said, the intent, if you listen to the video, it also talks about it, too is so that when you're selling your cards, you'll be able to get more of a premium while you're waiting for cards to come back from being, or uh, waiting for cards to either be able to be submitted to card companies that have services canceled or have tripled prices. Um, there's so much word out there right now between what SGC and especially what PSA is going to be doing. Nobody knows for sure. When and how they're going to open back up. Are they going to raise prices? There's just all these myths out there. It's gossip. So take it as that until you hear it out of PSA's mouth themselves. But this here is just another approach. And no, I don't know. I know somebody's going to ask, is this going to be, you know, is this a startup for them to go start their own grading service later on? I have no idea, guys. None at all. I'm just going off of what this was given. I've heard of this about a week or a week and a half ago, talk about it. And I, recently I just learned that Safi was a part of it last night. I, I had no clue on to it. But I wanted to talk about it beforehand um, due to the fact that some people are going to hear about it and want to end up doing it. How do they get to it? You know, personally, I'm not going to end up doing this because I've been a diehard PSA guy. I've been since, I think, either 01 or 02. I'd have to really go back and think. I, I think it was uh, 01. As a matter of fact, I know it was before 01. It was before uh, the September 11th stuff. Um, so I've been with them just for a long time, and that's just where I stand out with it. I'll wait, wait it out. Most people know that about me. The other part of me is... I don't know how the resale value is going to be on these until I can see it. And I'm not talking about seeing it that, oh, I heard that so-and-so purchased from a card show. I need to see solid solds and paid for like off of eBay before I really want to jump into something. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Um, you guys know I get a ton of emails about, you know, advertising people's, uh, what do you call it? repack buys to those um, sub subscription boxes to even uh, uh, new grading companies. And really, I'm only going to do a video on one uh, for the grading companies. You guys will see why, and I'll talk about that in a separate video. But, you know, a lot of different things are coming out there with grading companies and everything like this. This is a different, really a different approach, to be honest, on to just a raw card review of, you know, for the bigger bulk submitters, and they're willing to you know, put their A, B, and C on it. One thing I think would be cool, though, to have onto this is that, say, um, uh, 716 does it or Sappy or one of the other two, that you put on the back of that who gave it the A, B, or C onto it because just so we can start seeing, you know, how accurate are is everybody across the board onto it. I mean, nobody's perfect. But it just be one of those things that way you can kind of know which of the four um, places, you know, actually did the raw card review on. Just something cool I thought about, you know. I, I don't think it's on there to begin with. And honestly, I, I'll show you another thing. I really think it'd be cool if PSA would start on the back of the label saying who originally graded the card. That would even be better. But that's a different topic down the road I'll talk about. But... You know, for this video here, I just want to talk about this and seeing if how many people are going to be interested in doing this. You know, I can see maybe doing it with some of the bigger cards because you're worried about it and stuff like that. Will it grade out? What do you think it'll grade at? You know, seven-day turnaround is pretty good time on getting it back, you know, from the day they get it to the day, it's, you know, you get your results and it ships back pretty quick and everything. You know, I don't know if these guys are going to get flooded, especially, you know, some of the guys that have bigger followings with their submissions. You know, it's all going to take effect down the road, you know, when you start 
with a product and it comes out hot, you can get, you know, hit down and then turn around times go up. But yeah, just like I said, for this video, it was just more of an informational thing on to it to, you know, go into it and explain what I've seen and uh, what I've heard on to it. Especially the part where you cannot send these cards in like this after you have the service into a grading company, which makes sense because they're not partnered with anybody at all. And it's, you know, it's not that company's graders like Beckett is Beckett graders doing the raw card review. So a little bit different onto it. But let me know in the guys in the comments section onto it because I'm, I'm, I'm always willing to listen and read because, you know, I might know, learn something, see something I didn't see off bat. It's always good to uh, see other people's thoughts onto this. You know, is this something you're looking forward to doing? Especially guys who are setting up at shows or looking to flip these. Do you think that there's going to be a price increase because of this if you start seeing these on eBay or not? Or are people just going to be like, oh, here we go, another grade to grader thing like that diamond company where it was grading. Um, what were they? Or, uh, they were grading the grading card already. There we go. Oh, couldn't even get that out right. So, like I said, I'm just curious what everybody else thinks on to it. I tell you, like, uh, if I'm going to be doing it or not, I'll always tell you guys, which in this case, I'm not until I, I start seeing where. Uh, physically where some of the profits are being made to see if it's even going to be worth it or not, to be honest, for my end. I mean, sounds cool, but everybody's going to have their own opinion on it. I'm really interested to see what everybody's opinions are on to it offhand. But other than that, guys, stay tuned. Tomorrow's scammer video coming out, as always. We'll start doing those again once a week. Other than that, have a good week, and I'll talk to you all later.